All right, what's up there SEO bros? I'm in the uh, parking lot of Gold's Gym and I was thinking, I haven't done a video for a while, I wanna do a video and the reason why I don't usually do videos is cause like I wanna get a lot of engagement on them cause that's what it's all about. If you can't get engagement on your videos then there's really no point in doing them or anything that you're doing really in general. So I've been uh, wanting to do more videos but it's just like the only way to really get a lot of engagement is to stand out and do something that's like crazy with like really good editing and that kind of thing. And the truth is, is like I'm kind of sick of uh, honestly like doing more than is necessary because I've been doing a lot of marketing lately for um, a new company that I started and I'm barely doing any work and I'm just totally blowing it up. And the problem is, is like with the SEO industry or the marketing industry is that it's so hard to stand out from most people because you're basically just trying to compete for everything that everybody else is trying to compete for. And the way to really stand out for mar in your marketing is to kind of like come up with something that isn't what everybody else is saying. So, I mean, the thing that I wanted to say today, I guess, is like, you know, you need to really, if you want to, because it doesn't come down to just SEO anymore. Like I, I made a post the other day about how SEO is kind of dead. And that's because it is like, if there's basic things that you can do to a website these days that are going to help. But if you don't have any authority on that website and you're not creating a long term, long term marketing strategy, that's based on engagement and building authority, then there's really no reason why you should be doing like SEO. Uh, maybe you're going to get some short term sales, but the way it works, like the way I've been able to rank for web design and SEO and be able to get like the highest rated SEO business um, on Google, all that kind of stuff is by taking content that people engage with, grabbing some sort of opt-in or doing some sort of opt-in, like for instance, you know, getting people to join my Facebook group or, and one thing that you do need to know is that if you're going to get people to opt into your stuff, you want to, um, you want to try to get people on an asset that you can direct outreach to them. So that's why I've been like promoting like Snapchat and stuff lately because it's like the best thing that you can get people to direct outreach on uh, with you on. Now, unfortunately in my industry in SEO, nobody has Snapchat for some reason. So if you guys want to send me a message on Facebook and ask me a question, I'll give you a free video response answering your question. Um, and I'll leave my Facebook profile link in the description of this video. But um, yeah, I mean, honestly, the way you do it is you you take some sort of free asset and, and if people aren't engaging with what you're doing, then you need to figure out a different strategy. And if it's working, then you just need to keep hammering on that and building your audience so that you can keep re-promoting what you're doing. So like, let's say I was doing this video and I wanted to push this out to a bunch of people. If people aren't engaging with this and they're not opting into whatever my free offer is, like I just said, then I need to go re-promote something else until that works. Once once you get people into that stage, and this is basic stuff. This is why I don't like the SEO industry because people don't understand how to do like basic marketing. That's not like insanely difficult to do. Um, you want to ideally create a self-feeding system where your opt-ins are bringing people into either two things, your next sale that you're going to be doing, like your low barrier to entry, whatever you're going to be offering for a low price, which if people start messaging me and then I give them answers to what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say, Hey, by the way, if they ask me more questions, I'm going to say, Hey, go book a time with me for 49 bucks. So that's my low barrier to entry. And then from there, I'm not going to really offer them a lot besides like you know, like an hour long phone call going over their marketing, answering the questions. And then I'd probably end up offering an SEO audit or a website audit or something like that. Because there are a lot of things that you can end up fixing on a website that'll help its SEO, but that is not the long-term strategy of a, of, a, of a website. And that's also not what you should be selling long-term to people. There's only so much you can do beyond like, you know, putting keywords on a page and doing like, you know, optimizing heading tags and title tags before it's bullshit. Like if you go into a website and you see that there's an 80% bounce rate on the top like page that's getting traffic, then you know you need to fix something. Like maybe it's the page speed, maybe it's the fucking, you know, click through rates. Um, maybe, you know, there could be different things on there that are leading to that uh, issue. Now, if you're just going in and trying to fix hundreds of pages on a website and make them rank and there's really no purpose, there's no real content behind them, there's no authority, there's no reviews, there's no traffic, there's no engagement around that thing for that brand, then there's really no reason why you should rank it in the first place. And like the problem with most people that do SEO is they're doing like optimizations to a website where the website shouldn't even be ranking in the first place because they, what, like the, the, the brand that they're trying to present doesn't even really have any authority or any sort of content or any engagement around what they're trying to get people to buy. So why would Google want to go and try to rank them for something when there's another website with a shit ton more authority? And I'm not talking about just like links, like, oh, it has more links that uh, this website doesn't have as many links as this other website. I'm talking about overall 
like brand authority that Google is able to understand these days based on user generated signals, user generated content, um, reviews, social signals, links are one of them. Like there are a ton of different things that lead to bringing in authority, like topical relevancy, having content that's actually relevant to what people are looking for, that people are actually engaging with, not just off Google. And again, like having one source of traffic is a total, like total, like dumb thing to have because if you're only bringing in traffic from Google, what happens if you lose that traffic? And it's funny because I have people ask me all the time, they go, Chase, like I lost all my rankings. What do I do? And I go, okay, well, first of all, you go back in time and you start capturing your traffic because everything that you're getting, whether it's an ad, whether it's organic traffic, wherever you're getting it, like 90% of that traffic is going to be people who are cold, cold traffic going to your website or to your brand. Now, if you're looking at it from a marketing perspective, which most people aren't, they're only looking at it from a Google perspective and just a sales perspective, these people are going to your website and then not buying because they don't know who you are, right? So that's 90% of the people that, and like the funny thing is people are like, well, let's just pixel the website and then serve ads to these people. But the problem is, is that if these people are only engaging with your brand because of ads and they're not engaging in an organic way first, then you don't even know if these people actually like the stuff that you're putting out. And the only reason they're going back to your website is because you're forcing them to go back to your website by seeing your stuff over and over. Like you don't want to have to annoy people to like like your brand. You want to have an organic strategy first. Fix fix your freaking first barrier to entry and how you're going to get people to engage with your brand, and then run ads to it. Don't run ads just to get sales because that's the only way people are going to buy from you, and it's cold traffic. And then you have to remarket to them and force them to buy your stuff. Like that's stupid. So, anyways, that's my quick rant. Um, I'm going to be doing more videos like this in the future, but. Honestly, again, if you guys are doing SEO, you don't get what I'm talking about, send me a message. I will do like a two minute, two to three minute video response for you, telling you what you need to do for your brand. And please don't ask me questions like, oh, hey Chase, I'm trying to rank number one for iPhone repair. Like, I don't care. That has nothing to do with like what your goal of your company should be. What is the thing that you actually offer that's valuable to people? Like, what is the thing that's actually gonna make your company unique? and stand out rather than just like, oh, we rank on Google. If you have a question like that, hit me up. If you have a question like, uh, Chase, I put schema markup on a page and it's not ranking, then that's bullshit because look, you're not really helping anybody. Unless you're somehow helping the end user, there's really no reason why you should be doing that. Like, That's why I hate link building because it's like, what's the point in building links if it's not actually helping anybody? So that's it.